Welcome once again to GCG Turbochargers for another look into the world of turbochargers. We've already looked at a lot of topics including turbocharger rebuilds, construction and sizes, as well as wastegates and turbo accessories. In this issue, we're going to have a look at how all these parts of the turbo system work together. Now many people think that getting extra power is just as simple as bolting on a bigger turbocharger. Well, in the case of a slightly larger bolt on this can sometimes be true, but most of the time if you're going for a serious power upgrade, you're also going to need to upgrade other parts of the turbo system as well as other engine support gear as well. In this issue, we're going to have a look at what types of support gear generally need to be upgraded when you're in the search for more power. GCG are distributors of all Greedy Performance products and are the only Australian authorised repairer of Trust turbos and accessories. Now for the record, Greedy, Trust, Grex and Gracer are all all the one company. The different names are used to distinguish different performance products, although they sometimes do cross over. Trust is generally used to describe all of the turbo parts and accessories. Now here we have two display engines from Greedy Japan that demonstrate how the support gear needs to be upgraded and matched to suit the turbocharger and the power levels required. This one's an SR20, while this one's a legendary RB26 out of a GTR. Now both are full house, big power engines. Now, Greddy can provide almost every single support part that you need to complete your engine package. Now, Trust provide all of their turbos in kit form to suit popular engines. This RB26 has a twin T67 kit, which is the big daddy of all the twin turbo kits. Now, you can also get a high mount TDO5 and TDO6 twin turbo kit. And in low mount bolt-on form, you can get a T517 or T518 kit as well. Now you can also get single turbo kits from T78 to the T88 and the biggest is the T88H 38GK which is rated to over 1100 horsepower. Now with the SR20 you can get turbo kits ranging from the Bolton T517Z all the way up to this monster T88-34D. Now the most popular turbo kit for SR20s at the moment is the TDO6 kit. Now the reason for that is it has heaps of mid-range grunt and response which is perfect for drifting and circuit but also has enough top end stonk to provide up to 350 rear wheel kilowatts depending on the trim. Now almost all Trust turbo kits are available in different exhaust housing sizes. Now Trust don't use AR to describe their exhaust housings, instead they talk about the area of the exhaust housing in centimetres squared. Now turbos such as the T67 or the TDO6 are available from 8 centimetre through to 16 centimetre squared versions. Now Trust turbo kits come with everything you need to suit the engine, including the turbocharger itself, the wastegate and manifold, as well as the dump pipe, oil lines, water block off lines and they'll usually come with an intake pipe as well. Now Trust designed all of these parts to work together to suit the engine and application. So the manifold design and length and size will always be optimised to suit the engine and turbocharger and the wastegate is always a sufficient size as well. Now in the case of a turbo like this, the T88, or the twin T67 kit, you need a very big wastegate to better control the boost such as this Type C item. Now choosing the right turbocharger and exhaust housing size depends on the engine setup and the application that you're going to be using the car for and it's certainly no easy task. A GCG sales representative can help you choose the right Trust Turbo Kit to suit your car and application. Now when you go to a larger turbocharger, a lot of things change within the engine system. Now check out this SR20. This T88 turbo is massive for a two litre engine. Now we know that boost is simply a byproduct of how much air this turbo can pump out versus how much air this engine can use, which is basically its efficiency level. Now when you increase an engine's efficiency level, you're increasing the amount of air that it consumes in a given amount of time. Now this can be done by either increasing its displacement, porting the heads, different camshafts, CCing the combustion chamber and working on things inside the engine. But that's another topic altogether. Now what we're going to be looking at today is how the support systems of the engine help make the most of a bigger turbocharger. Now obviously a massive turbo like this T8834D needs efficient airflow, so a larger intake pipe and higher flowing air filter is needed. The intercooler piping also needs to be made to match. 
Now against popular belief, there is no need to make the pipe from the turbo to the intercooler larger than the actual turbo outlet. If anything, that's a bad thing. Making it bigger reduces airflow velocity and increases lag in the boost threshold, diminishing drivability. Now we already know the job of the intercooler is to cool down the boosted air. Now cooler air is denser and denser air takes up more room. So it's pretty much the norm to make the intercooler pipe coming out of the intercooler half an inch bigger than the one coming in. But at the same time, there's absolutely no need to make the intercooler pipe any bigger than the throttle body. Now a larger turbocharger flows more air, so the intercooler needs to be able to flow more air as well as be able to cool larger volumes of air. So its cooling efficiency and its flow need to be increased to suit the turbocharger. Now Trust make intercoolers to suit pretty much any power level, like this Trust Drag intercooler which is rated to handle well over a thousand horsepower. But like intercooler piping, an intercooler can also be too big. Now basically the bigger the volume of the intercooler, the more air it's going to take to fill it up which increases lag and obviously increases the boost threshold. Now using a truss drag intercooler like this with twin T67s or a big T88 is perfect but if you were to have a smaller turbo on there obviously it would take too much to fill it up and you would have poor drivability with the car. Now truss pretty much have an intercooler or intercooler kit to suit every type of application or power level and have also got kits to suit pretty much every popular Japanese performance car. After the intercooler and piping comes the throttle body and the plenum. Now like the principle of rally cars running restrictors, the throttle body size determines how much power it can support. Now Gretti designed their aftermarket plenums to be able to fit larger throttle bodies as well as support a lot more extra power. Gretti designed their plenums in the factory, test it on a flow bench, they then use them on a lot of tried and proven drift circuit and drag cars in Japan so you know that they're going to work. They designed their plenums to give perfect air cylinder distribution so you get the right amount of air into every cylinder and they also make it the correct volume to be able to suit the engine and the application. Now you can actually make your plenum too big for the car. Just like the intercooler intercooler piping, the larger volume means it takes more air to fill it up so you can increase lag and the boost threshold and ruin drivability. Now it's all about matching the plenum to the turbocharger and engine combination. Now the next part of the airflow system to worry about that's filled with misconceptions is the exhaust. Now many people believe that with a dump pipe the bigger the better. Now this is partially right but at the same time it's also totally wrong. Now the dump pipe still needs to be matched to suit the turbocharger and the engine combination. Against what many of you have been told there is absolutely no need to make the first part of the dump pipe any bigger than the outlet of the turbocharger. Now what Trust do is they actually experiment with the distance from the turbine outlet to where that steps up in size and they experiment with that so they can get the drivability and the power level perfectly right so there's absolutely no need to mess with it. Now that's airflow taken care of but what else do you need to upgrade in the quest for more power? Now putting more air into the engine means you also need to put more fuel into the engine. Now Gretti offer aftermarket larger injectors for almost every popular Japanese import and they've also got fuel rafts to suit a few cars as well. Now this GDR fuel rail is a twin entry item which means it has two entries at each end and then has an outlet in the centre. This is to keep consistent fuel pressure throughout the entire rail. Now the Gretti plenum also allows the fitment of two fuel rails which means you can have primary and secondary injectors to help increase drive Ability. Now with extra fuel and extra air, you're generally also going to need extra sparks as sometimes your ignition system would need to be upgraded and to manage all this you're going to need some form of aftermarket ECU. If you tried to run either of these engines on a factory computer, they simply wouldn't work. So an aftermarket computer is going to be needed to help extract all of that extra power. Now when an engine makes more power, there's one byproduct you simply can't escape and that's the fact that it will create more heat. So the cooling system needs to be upgraded to handle the extra power. Now Gretti offer oil cooler kits as well as radiators to suit a lot of popular Japanese imports. Now they also, for the RB26 and SR20, offer in large sumps, which help increase reliability as well as keep the engine cooler as well. Big power boosted engines also tend to breathe more, so an aftermarket larger catch can is often needed. Now as you can see, making extra power isn't as simple as just whacking on a couple of bolt-ons and turning up the boost. Upgrading one part usually means an array of other parts also need to be upgraded, but all of these parts also need to be matched to suit each other, otherwise drivability and power levels are both going to suffer. Now the guys here at GCG have years of experience in turbocharged cars and their setup, so they can help you choose the parts that you need to make it all work together, and the Trust catalogue also has everything you need that is perfectly matched to suit each other as well.